Welcome back. Sketch 2. The sketch has no current use for us right now. So I'm going to turn its uh, visibility off by heading to Sketches and selecting this eye. Instead of recreating this feature that will traverse uh, this line and uh, this line, we're going to create a circular pattern. And uh, to speed things up, I'm going to hit S for shortcuts and I'm going to type P-A-T-T. Let's select circular pattern. For the pattern type, our target is features and that features is located here on our timeline. And to be exact, it's extrude 2. So selecting this, left click. Next, we are prompted to define the axis. Left click here. And for the axis, let's select our Z or Z axis. Left click. And for the quantity, it will be 3. For compute option, let's change this to optimized. Selecting OK and head to home view. Moving forward, let's head to top view. And from our reference animation, I am seeing the handle is in the shape of letter T. And at this view, I am seeing the T to be here, going down. With that in mind, let's enter sketch mode, hitting L for line. And for our plane or planar face, let's select any of these uh, faces. So selecting this one, I'm going to create a reference line. In addition, notice as I move my cursor, the blue dashed line we are seeing here is a snap track. So to disable this, all you have to do is hold control. Also, by holding the control key, we are disabling inferred constraints and the possibility of referencing objects not needed in our current sketch. So I'm going to hold control, left click here, left click here, hit escape, create another line, hit L, locate the midpoint of this line, create a line from here, up to here, double left click, hit escape to exit the line command. Next, let's have this line and this line perpendicular. So selecting perpendicular constraint, selecting this line and this line, hitting escape. Next, I want this uh, vertical line coincident with our origin. So heading up to constraints, selecting coincident, Selecting this vertical line and our origin. Hitting escape. And from here, now is the time that we can use the sketch we created here for reference. Let's locate that one and it's sketch 2. Turning its visibility on. Let's have this endpoint and this endpoint coincident with uh, both of these lines. So heading up to coincident once more, selecting this endpoint and this line, this endpoint and this line. Left click, hitting escape. Next, I want to position this point perpendicular to the midpoint of this edge 
And uh, to do that, let's zoom in. I'm going to hit L for line and uh, locate the midpoint of this edge. Left click. And let's connect this to this endpoint of our T-shaped sketch. Hitting escape. I'm going to select this line and this edge. Right click and select perpendicular. And uh, that's another technique for us to grab constraints instead of heading up. So selecting perpendicular, hitting escape. Let's turn this as a construction line by hitting X. In addition, notice our uh, T-shaped sketch is now in the color of black, meaning it's fully defined. And in the next lesson, the sketch will serve as our guide to create the handle.